Hey y'all, this is AL Take My Dom. So I am in the living room trying to sleep. I go into work for eight hours, but I'm going in early just in case they try me for a 12 hour shift. But that means I would get off at my normal time. That's just worst case scenario. So I just want to set myself up so that I can be done with these people for a week. I just want to get this last day in. Seven day is tomorrow, well, Monday, and then I don't have to see them no more until the following Tuesday because I'm celebrating my birthday. I am going to do whatever I want to do. If it's sleep all day, do whatever. I'm going to do just that because I'm not going to have to worry about checking into work or having to deal with anything work related. Y'all, anyway, y'all, excuse my voice in advance. So I'm just on here talk to y'all for a few minutes because obviously i'm not getting any sleep right now hopefully i will get some before i have to um eventually go in so i should have been asleep a while ago like a couple hours ago what time is it should have been asleep about to be three hours ago now right well i don't remember if i gave y'all an update or not but the noise, the loud noise that we have been hearing outside, it's not a compressor. It is a super loud generator. Now, I pay my bill, so I'm guessing it's the house next door that I told y'all about where it's like a roomy house for men or something like that. At least that's what it seems like to me. And they are the people who normally play music and stuff when it's like decent temperatures outside. So... It's been going on two, three days now. And the first day they started, like when the sun went down, like I heard random people talking, then all of a sudden, like literally in between where the house and this apartment building sits, there's like a private, you know, do not enter type of sign or whatever, private property or whatever sign that separates both properties. But it's like a walkway, but it's gated. Well, I guess if you know how to open the the gate, I guess, or whatever, or you're brave enough to go through it, you, I guess, can go through it. Anyway, so I heard like a group of men talking initially, and then all of a sudden, less than five minutes later, it powered on. And I was like, what is this loud crap? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, come on now. Because I had already been awakened out of my sleep by the stupidity like what's going on right now and that's why i got on here y'all i'm already dealing with that noise this is day three this is starting day three if i'm not mistaken of the backup generator or generator in general that's on i'm guessing for the house next door i don't know what they got going on but it's a super loud generator that's like sitting in between both uh buildings and i'm just like so none of us can get sleep that live on this side of the building? Like, what is what do y'all have going on? I don't even understand why this is happening. Because initially, like I told y'all before, I thought that this was a compressor. I'm used to a compressor because of my daddy's line of work. So I'm, you know, I done left message, video messages for my daddy. Like, I don't understand what's going on with this. And so he heard the background and informed me that that's what that was, which is that it was an actual generator. But I'm saying to myself, okay. So I came up here and was able to go to sleep. Now, I don't know if y'all can hear that in the background, but I have my TV on and I'm playing rain noises, which typically helps me to go to sleep. But it's so loud outside, like right now, that it's like still not really doing much of anything. It's not lulling me to sleep like it typically would. And then these children are running back and forth. Now, I'm just like, why don't you take them outside? Why can't you take them outside to burn off this energy? We're supposed to be in for a whole lot of rain, possibility of wintery mix. Last week, they made it seem like it was going to be mainly snow and then turn into wintery mix. But I think it's going to be mainly rain. And it's just going to be really cold. And so, you know, I'm good with that. Like. It don't matter to me because by the time it really start popping off, I'm going to be off work. I am going to be running some errands, 
my errands are strictly birthday related. Like, I'm just being honest with you. They are birthday related. I plan on going to get the different items that I'm going to need for my birthday feast for myself. Um, that my friend is going to cook up and season up and do all that good stuff for me. Because she grew up eating seafood boils and all that stuff. So, yeah, I just figured, you know, instead of me doing my typical um, Mexican dish that I go pick up and then come home and eat and make my own frozen margarita for, might as well do something else. Like, if I'm going to spend money on that, you know, might as well just spend it on something else that I would want to have instead of the same old, same old. So, yeah, y'all. I, I really don't know what's going on next door. Excuse me. I, I really am tired. Like, I should have been asleep, but I can't go to sleep because all this noise. Um, But I really want to be able to enjoy my birthday. So that's what I'm going to do. So pretty much um, I'm going to go in for eight hours. I got to be to work in the next three and a half, four hours, I guess. Um, so whenever I do wake up, if I even go to sleep and I take my shower and, you know, do the typical things to get ready and get out of here, at least by 25 till it's time for me to, you know, really be there. Um, because I still have to clock in by a certain time. So, yeah, I have to clock in by 11 till. Yeah, they, they started doing the most. I don't even want to get into that. But that's like the absolute latest that I can clock in. So, yeah. It doesn't take me that long to get to work. But still, it's annoying. Because it used to be one till your shift starts. Which, you know, kind of gave me a little bit more time if something happened. I mean, there would be times that I would have to defrost my car. And it was just a random freeze that didn't make any sense to me. There was no warning, like, and if I didn't have that extra time, I would have definitely had occurrences and it would have been late. So, but anyway, y'all, um, that's all I'm going to really do. I'm going to go to work for eight hours, but I'm going in early just in case they try to test my gangster and then I have to stay over, meaning essentially as long as they don't try to call me off, which that would annoy me so bad. Um, I don't feel like they will and um, all that good stuff. But worst case scenario is that I'll be getting off in the border at my normal time. Um, excuse me. And um, I haven't had any sleep, so that would not be good for me. So I really don't want that to be the case. I want to just get off super early in the morning before the sun rises so I can come home, take a nap. And then I'm going to go make a grocery run to go and get the items that I need. And by the time I'm done doing that, other stores would have opened so that I can go and get the little pans that you want me to get. Unless I get them from there, it just depends. I'm just trying to go the cheapest route because it's getting thrown away when I'm done eating the stuff. So, um, And then I'm going to go to her house because she is going to be off. And it's just a matter of I'm dropping the food and the ingredients off to her because it's more convenient because she works so much that she wouldn't have time and essentially like everything that she's gonna do is gonna be something that would kind of take away from other stuff she needs to do and so since this is something that I'm asking her to do for me I don't mind doing it because I was going to just send her the money but I'm like, let me just go get the ingredients and do that. And she was like, yeah, that's a good idea. That's actually way better than what I was thinking because it would be very convenient. So essentially, unless she changes it, she's going to cook everything on my birthday. And I'm going to go over there and get it on my birthday. And I'm going to have it for lunch and or dinner. I think that I'm going to go over there, excuse me, and have it and take it home. And we'll bring it home and it'll be my dinner. So, in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to eat um, on my birthday for breakfast and then hold out for that because I want to really enjoy myself. Um, I am actually going to be doing my hair as well. So, in between me sleeping, catching up on TV shows and movies, I'm going to be doing my hair. So, 
hopefully if all goes according to plan after i'm done running my errands tomorrow i am going to come home and wash my hair at the bare minimum but i would love to take a nap a good nap wash my hair stretch my hair out and start braiding my hair even if i don't finish my hair tomorrow um well not tomorrow well yeah tomorrow see i keep saying tomorrow because i'm thinking it's just the way my job is y'all i'll be I'll, I'll say one thing and i mean something else but sunday let me just say the actual day of the week sunday at some point i want to get home because it's going to be raining like all day it's going to be really cold and raining and i ain't gonna lie to y'all i don't really like doing my hair when it's cold i hate doing anything to my hair when it's cold but depending on how everything goes i will go on ahead and wash my hair stretch it out and um braid it or whatever i'm gonna do because right now i'm thinking of i'm braiding it again i don't know i just i just want it in a protective style but i want it to be neater i feel like i just rushed it last time because I finally, you know, had a weekend off. So I was like, oh my gosh, I was actually enjoying the fact that I was off versus me, you know, taking the time to braid my hair the way I really wanted it to be braided. So anyway, um, <clears throat> so between Sunday and Monday, my hair should be done before the clock strikes 12 on Tuesday, which essentially will of course be my birthday. I just want everything to be done as far as that is concerned. I do want to spend part of Monday um, straightening up, cleaning, doing a little stuff around the house. And a lot of things already have a wrench being thrown in the plan because of all this noise going on outside of the usual noise. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to have to just live in the living room pretty much because every room that you can you know put a bed in here that actually is a bedroom it's all on that side of the, the apartment so the noise that you hear is right there like it's so loud so i only go into the bathroom and if i go in the room that i use for the bedroom i end up charging my phone and then i'll put some like ear things in my ear while i watch a show or something if I'm going to sit in there to block it all out because I cannot hear anything like that's how super loud it is. It's so infuriating. I just, it's like, if it's not one thing, it's another. And it's just like, what is wrong with everybody? I don't understand what's going on. Then her kids doing the most, running back and forth, stomping, jumping, skipping, hopping as hard as they can. And I'm just like, and then tell me why my friend drove by. And so um, he ended up FaceTiming me and he was like, man, Tell me where I saw your girl parked out there. She was parked all ignorant. I was like, who are you talking about? I thought he was saying that he saw the side heifer's car because she has a new vehicle. And when I do the um, What A Day post um, after I have finished my work day and I get home at some point between Sunday and Tuesday, um, I'll tell y'all about that. But the heifer finally got a car. Hallelujah in the name. I guess I read her so much. That she finally took heat because it didn't make any sense. She should have had a new car before I even got mine. Anyway, <clears throat> so, and it's not it's not for it's not for the lack of her not having money or anything like that. Like she has money. She's selling weed. She was working over. She was getting her normal hours. And when the pandemic hit, because she has a child, she was getting money left and right for her child and all of that. And she get taxes. So she she was getting money hand over fist. It was just the fact that she was wasting it on a married man. But we ain't going to get into that in this moment. So anyway, but yeah, talking about the dumb half up, up that live above me. So her car, like when she turned it on, it'd be barely about to even turn over. And I'm like, ma'am, wouldn't it be safer for you to just go on ahead and stay out back? keep parking out back instead of trying to park in the front like it barely wants to crank up and so instead of her parking the way normal people would park she parks like this other person who lives like a house or two over in the other direction next to us and if they don't park correctly they park facing the opposite direction it's just so stupid i know y'all heard that just stupid i'm trying to tell y'all like i got my rain on and it's not working because 
everybody want to be loud and doing the most. I just don't be understanding why. Why is it that it's so hard to tell your children to go somewhere and sit down? Why is it so hard to tell them before they start to get too big to comprehend or want to comprehend or understand, okay, this isn't what you're supposed to do when you're in this setting so that they can already know, hey, let me go somewhere and sit down. We don't do, we don't play like this inside. I'm not trying to say that children shouldn't be allowed to play in some capacity inside of a home. What I'm saying is the running, jumping, stomping, sounding like you are doing WWE wrestling moves. Like, I shouldn't hear all that. Like, they really be so loud that they be stomping so loud that the dogs below me, below me, there are three levels. The dogs below me start barking because of them. That's extremely too loud. Like, and that's, that's letting me know that you're doing stuff way too hard and too loud because now the dogs are reacting to all of what you got going on. It's just so much, y'all. And I just be, all I try to do is just come here and relax. This should be able to be a peaceful space for me. And it's not. That is why I find solace in sitting in my car when I get off work. Which is sad. That is sad. It's ridiculous. I should not have to just be like, ooh, let me just sit in my car and scroll. Like, I really shouldn't have to do that. Like, I really sit in there and just try to meditate a little bit and prepare my mind to come in here. That's ridiculous. Never used to have to do that before. But, you know, landlord do what you want to do. So, it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, despite all this, I'm still trying to be hyped for my birthday. I'm trying to debate on what I'm going to actually do the day of outside of eating <laughs> that food that my friend is going to prepare for me. So, I have my mind set on something. It's nothing major. I was going to go somewhere, but I'm just like, no, nah, I'm not. Because I'm not even... Like, that's what's making me mad about all of this. Initially, I was just going to take off two days. My birthday and the day after. Because, essentially, I was not going to be able to actually enjoy my birthday. Because I would have had to sleep half the day in order to be alert at work well try let me put let me put it like that now since all these other things have come about i would have to try to get some sleep so that i can come into work on the 15th which is wednesday so i was just like you know what so much stuff had been popping off and for the last month i have been having to pull 12s on at least my last day of work and i'm nowhere near the top of the rotation list there are 10 9 or 10 people above me why am I having to be someone who works on my days off? That makes no sense. So, yeah, y'all. Um, it's been annoying. So, I go to work and I'm annoyed. And then I end up coming here and I'm annoyed. And it's like, I have no peace. I'm trying to work on some more things. I've saged my place. I did the Santa Paulo Paleo. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that all the way wrong. I had heard it pronounced correctly years ago but i don't know how to say it correctly anymore i'm sure but i did that um in january i was supposed to do it again on the first and on the first what sunday of this month but i was so tired i was gonna get up and do it i ended up going to sleep and then by the time i thought about it it was already a wrap so <sighs> it was monday so i was like yeah lee mess me up so, because you, you're supposed to do it like the first Sunday. We ain't even going to go into that. If you don't know that, I'm not even going to try to explain it. Because I don't want anybody to try to come at me sideways about it. But anyway, it's just something that I typically do. Um, a couple of my friends do it too. And it's just, um, I do a cinnamon boil, a uh, um, cinnamon blow. And I'm supposed to sage regularly. And like I told y'all before, this was going to be my first time saging. Which is something I should have done three years ago when my relationship ended. I definitely should have saged then. So yeah, because there was so much negativity. There was just so much foolishness that had gone on in this place. And I just don't like, I don't like stuff like that. I just don't. So, but anyway, um... What else? 
I'm going to tell y'all about a few things once I do the what a day post because a lot of things, a lot of interesting things have been happening. <laughs> a lot of interesting things have happened. So, but anyway, y'all, I am about to try to get off here and try to go to sleep because I do have my rain noises going. They are still making noise over there with the, um, I always want to say compressor, but the, um, generator. And they are still stomping back and forth, but I'm hoping they go somewhere and sit down long enough for me to get a couple of hours of sleep so I can go to work. Y'all hear the raspiness coming in because I'm supposed to be asleep. I'm really tired and I'm hopeful that I'm going to have a good night. I should. <sighs> kind of annoyed because I kind of was in a lose-lose situation because initially they had the side heifer to be the person that I was going to work with the second half of my shift but because she volunteered to work in my department or in the new department they actually gave her her request and I wasn't in my department I'm in her home department the whole time so the first I think the whole time the whole time I'm there well no 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 the first four hours I'm gonna be there with somebody who likes me in the second half I gotta deal with this I just can't this man who he just child I just he's he comes out of his own mouth and say he perfect and he's literally trash I had to work with him today and that's one reason why I'm tired too like he just I can't so anyway I gotta deal with him for four hours we gonna see how that go I'm gonna try my best to get where I want to get so I can get up out of there um, but yeah, y'all, let me let y'all go. Thank y'all for listening to me ramble on. These people be irking my soul. All right, y'all have a good day. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.